so we are just going to get an overview of what the questions are and um, I'm going to release another video where I'm going to answer the questions in detail but here we are just going to take a snapshot but in this video I'm starting with the essay part I'll go to the objectives then I'll move to the practicals now I'm just going to highlight on some specific things I noticed first of all some mistakes I found in the essay part as well as some power topics that always drop in the integrated science WASI, NOVDEC or BEC there are some topics that are always likely to drop so can you watch this video to the end like it and then subscribe to this channel we begin right away with the first question so binomial nomenclature which looks at classification in your textbook so we move on to yes so here you were asked to name two scientists who are involved in classification and there are more scientists so you, in the video where I answer the questions you know more of these scientists now question 1b is a part where you need to really give attention to anytime you're going to write WASI integrated science exam because it's likely chemical compounds naming of compounds this is um, inorganic chemistry the IUPAC names you have to be very very skilled in that area okay, so we move on to question 1c which is the agric part which is asking of um, types of fertilizer so in your books you find that under fertilizers then you move on to evaporation and then cooling and evaporation leads to cooling okay so question two also on agric we are looking at mulching the maintenance of cell fertility and then these processes hoeing and stamping undertaking the preparation of land okay so we move on to land breeze and then sea breeze we find it under the topic air movement now this is where there is a mistake question 2c explain the following terms malleability ability to beat metals into shapes then soronity the word is not soronity it is so no reti. so um let's just look into my dictionary and then find out if what i'm saying is right so let's look at the word again it is s-o-r-o -O, but the actual spelling is s-o-n-o -O. okay but i don't know what the examiners are going to do if they are going to mark everyone correct because you know before before now i had not seen this in any test book I just had to do a search to find what it was okay so let's go into my dictionary this is the word s-o-r-o-n-i-t-y this is the word you find in the wasi integrator science but there isn't a word like that so when i do a search it's telling me i didn't find it but after i did my search i saw this was what the examiners actually wanted the students to have s-o-n-o R I T Y. So this is it. Sonority. The property of being sonorous. That is um, capable of making a sound. So the metals can produce sound when they are hit. So that was what the examiners wanted to give, and they ended up maybe typing error. We move on. Now question two. C I I. State two reasons. Say two reasons why steel is preferred to iron in building car bodies. Okay, that is it. Say two reasons why steel is preferred to iron in building car bodies. Then question two D is looking at biodiversity and then reasons why biodiversity is important to living humans. Important to humans. So this topic is um, in living and unliving things. You find it in your textbook. So we move on to question three. Question three is talking about greenhouse gases. And this topic is also a topic you should look out for because it was recently introduced into the curriculum and you know, um, the issue of global warming and greenhouse gases is always in the news. So always be on the lookout for it. Then 3B looks at skeleton. Now 3C goes to the agric and then goes to agree and then talks about 
the three sequels to Agrik and then looks at the importance of the following in um, farming. Then 3D radioactivity. Yes, radioactivity. Then 4A also looks at livestock. So with the agric part, you should always look out for crop production and animal production. Always, when you are studying, always be on the lookout. Once the agric is there, crop production will be there, animal production will also be there. And that's what we see in question 4A. Now question 4B looks at motion. This is motion under gravity. So question 3 is looking at biology, that's anatomy, physiology, movable and movable joints. Then question 3C is looking at the respiratory system. Question, question 4D is looking at um, animal production as well in piglet. Then question 6A is looking at living in um, sorry ecosystem. Question 6A is looking at ecosystem, biotic factors, and factors, examples of abiotic factors. Now question 6B. 6B. Organic chemistry. Always be on the lookout for it. So these are topics you are supposed to master. And amazingly, I made a video a long time ago mentioning these power topics and they are there. My topics were not even up to 10. But you find this year's um, integrated science. You find the topics in there. So just master them and you are good to go. So question 6C is also looking at animal production, livestock. Now, question 6D has another power topic. Now, kindly check the video, descript um, the video description. There's a link to the video I posted a long time ago. And all my power topics are in there. And that's electricity. Just master these topics and go boldly into the exam hall and grab your A. So this is a snapshot of my power topics. Just master these topics. You know, none of these topics are, you know, child's play. They are very huge topics. So just master them and you are ready for your day.